What's up guys, Gumzer and welcome back to Pro Simulator 2023 for episode number 27 of the Bolton Equities Black Spoke Gore mode. In today's episode, we shall start our Giro d'Italia. Uh, I had planned on doing Romandie, but for uh, reasons that are quite clear, this save is fucked and uh, yeah, so Romandie never started. Stage 5 happened, uh, but wasn't gonna just record stage five. Um, stage one of the Giro has been simmed by the game already. Um, but I'm pretty sure, and I've said it about three times this year already, the save has been saved. Uh, I just manually went through every little list and every checklist and everything. It took me the entire night. All right, I, I've, I've decided to not sleep and try to fix this shit. But I think we're good to go. Probably the next cut in this video is going to be me saying that the Jira doesn't start again. Um, but it's a variant of the Jira I think I've used in the previous game, not this one. Um, it's the uh, Yugoslavian tour. So it started with the time trial between Dubrovnik and Dubrovnik, then Dubrovnik split, Shibenik Lun, uh, Josip Dol Novi Rad, Prijedor Zagreb, Zagreb Maribor, Maribor Ljubljana. Kran Mangart and Kranskagora Pavlicevo Sedlo for the first episode. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, it took me three minutes to get the uh, hardware instancing riders, and because that's the tab where usually every race crashes, I got very scared that I would have to spend another 13 hours trying to fix this. Uh, but we're good to go. Sprint stage today between the Rovinka split. Uh, the lineup is as follows James Fouché, Ethan Vernon, Rory Townsend. Mal Scottson, Kellen O'Brien, Dylan Hopkins, Ben Askey, so a team mostly axed on the sprints, and we do have a uh, climbing rider, mostly for breakaways, I think I don't fight, uh, or I don't think I've got the legs to fight for the GC, nor do I have the team to fight for GC with Ruben Thompson, uh, so maybe we'll try and get the um, Maglia Azzurra. If we can leave this race with Azzurra and Ciclamino, I'd, I'd be quite happy with it. We're trying to exist uh, in this finish, but uh, we've lost a lot of energy trying to uh, put ourselves in a, a leading position heading into split here. Um, Rory Townsend actually has no energy already, which I am not a fan of. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? I'm gonna have to swap Townsend and, uh, and Ethan Vernon. I just need Kellen to make the, the bit of this downhill portion. Ah, we're not, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. It's fine, it's fine. It's the first stage. Uh, it's my first sprint. It's okay. It's a win for Jasper Philipson ahead of Jorge Meus, Jake Stewart, Arnaud Dedi, Jacobson, Heitz, Nizolo, Ackerman, and myself. Well, myself and Ackerman. The sprinting field on this Giro is extremely good. The minus four of Ethan Vernon does not make me happy uh, as we leave Shibenik. 167 kilometers, another sprint today, uh, and um, we'll try and uh, do better than yesterday, but the race day conditions aren't making me extremely, uh, extremely happy. There's been a, a crash, sadly it involved Kellen O'Brien, who is out of the Giro d'Italia. Horrendous start, horrendous start. Um, more riders have hit the deck, uh, the likes of Jake Stewart have crashed, Enric Mass has crashed, Ethan Vernon is at the back of this group here, and uh, I'm gonna try and... Um, I have him go back at the front, we'll get water with Ben Askey. Um, disappointing start and very, very sad for Kelland. Uh, Once again, fighting for position. Um, I'm, I'll remove Ben Askey from the train. Uh, Ethan Vernon is not going to sprint. We'll sprint for Ray Townsend today. Um, Alright. Don't do anything done. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I was told by someone in the comments to try and use infinite relay instead of, uh, of efforts to see if the riders still block me. Uh, well, Spoiler alert, they still do, but it's it's fine. Uh, we'll make it work. There goes Miles Scottson on the left-hand side of the road here. We're trying to navigate in the, the midst of all the Bahrain riders. Um, we're getting blocked here by uh, Victor Albanese. But we would not have been able to catch Jasper Philipsen, who bags the second stage on this Giro. Nasser Boani gets a very nice P5. It's P7 for returns and one better than yesterday. The road finally goes up on the Giro d'Italia. Josip Dol Novigrad, we are heading to Slovenia, I think. Um, a climb with an average gradient of 8%, a max of 12 for 2 kilometers. It is a hill you'd usually find on a race such as La Vuelta, so it's quite cool to see it on the Giro. Uh, leading the Giro is Jasper Philipsen for UAE Team Emirates. Um, I haven't taken a look, actually at the competition whatsoever 
on this uh, first Grand Tour of the season. I'm thinking something. Oh, um, Team Sky lost their leader. I think that was Ghana. Uh, so it's a shame for them. Only three GNFs so far on this uh, this Giro. One of them uh, being Kellen O'Brien. The other one um, affected the uh, Unox Rema 1000 team. Um, I'm seeing Joao Almeida. I'm seeing Theo Gaganart. I'm seeing uh, Enric Mas. I know he crashed in yesterday's stage already. Seeing who am I seeing? Tobias Foss, maybe. Uh, Sepkus for Omega Pharma Lotto, Thomas Glock for Saudi Aramco, okay. No more breakaways as we've uh, entered the final 5km of this stage. Uh, I think I'll play this as I usually would play a sprint, uh, so a huge strain. Um, for once, we're well placed, right? There's no issues about that whatsoever, no one has blocked us. Um, it's just a shame that this isn't a proper sprint. Miles Scottson is going to step aside, letting Ben Askey do the work. James pushing the wheel. Um, the aim was to go either for Ruben Thompson or for Rory Townsend today, as I feel like they all have their card to play. Um, but we're well placed there, because with 700 meters to go, no one seems able to go and defeat us. And it's going to be a very... Very easy win. I did not block Joe Almeida, by the way. Don't insult me, Portuguese people, in the comments. That's not my fault. Uh, but it's an easy win for us. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> yeah, that's how we start the Giro. <laughs> North Prince on this Giro. Another minus... Um, minus 1? Yeah, minus 1, sorry, for Ethan Vernon. Plus 5 for Rory Townsend. I think Rory just becomes my uh, my proper sprinter at this point. Um, GC West we came back to P6 with Ruben Thompson, um, that makes me both happy and not happy, uh, as it, uh, may just prevent me from going into the first mountain breakaway. So we'll see what happens with, uh, the, um, rider from New Zealand. But apart from that, let's, uh, arm ourselves and brace ourselves for yet another P7 finish. What if I told you I, I put the stage in times 8 and I forgot that it was in times 8? Yep, that's that's definitely not what happened at all. <clears throat> it's a it's a win for Fabio Jakobsen ahead of Arnaud Deli and Garza Cortina in this uh, sprint that I definitely took part in. As you can see, the best finish of Miles Scottson in P seventy four. Ah, actually, I'm, I'm rude. It's P sixty three for Ethan Vernon. Cool. Next up, I'll try and uh, watch the race a bit more. My eyes have never been closer to my screen, as uh, this time I will watch the race in times one throughout its entirety. Zagreb Maribor, 135 kilometers, another hilly finish at the uh, SV Urban. 1.8 kilometers, average of 11%, a max of 15, very similar to uh, what happened in Novigrad, where we took the win. Let's see if uh, Ruben Thompson can reiterate that performance. I don't think he will, but you never know. Ben Askey has started increasing the rhythm as there is a crash uh, in the peloton involving the likes of Mattia Cataneo and I think Bauke Molema was also involved. Uh, there's been a crash for one rider of my team, that is Ruben Thompson, who crashed at the summit of the uh, Punti Arza. Thankfully for us, um, he went back on his bike without uh, any issues by the looks of things, uh, but it's never good to, uh, to crash. He took the points at the summit and he literally crashed at the summit. Uh, maybe, I don't know, he celebrated, or maybe he, he removed his arms from the uh, handlebars to, to, to just close his jersey. I don't know what the fuck he did. But all I know is that it resulted in him on the floor. We are in the final uh, kilometer, kilometer and a half of this stage, with James Fouché taking the lead over Dylan Hopkins. Great job by uh, by Dylan. And I think just like stage two, it's go uh, sorry, just like stage four is going to be a whitewash and a win for Ruben Thompson at the SV Urban. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a win. Those stages are quite easy to win. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to sprints, I am nowhere, but give me a heady finish. Boy, am I here. It's a one, two, and three. Four balls in equities, black spoke. We don't win, but when we do, we win big. Difficult stage upon us today between Maribor and Juliana. Plus four for Ray Townsend, plus two for Ruben Thompson, uh, plus five for James Fouché, who will be in the breakaway today. Uh, that has been uh, made official by me in the team bus, uh, which is a full transit because we don't have enough money to buy ourselves a proper bus. Um, but either way, uh, we digress. Um, Marlis Scottson will protect Ruben Thompson throughout the day. Uh, Ruben, who has moved as one of my objectives into the um, Maglia Azzurra. There goes James Fouché in the break. Benaski is going to stop. Um, all right. 
I recall playing that stage on last year's game. I cannot tell you if the breakaway goes to the end or not. I think there's a world where it could go to the end. Um, we just need to have the right breakaway and we need the peloton not to chase us down with Mark Patton. We've started what we can call the uh, the difficult portion of this race, I guess. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's not easy, which is to be fair, a synonym of, uh, well, not, of, of difficult portion of the race. Uh, but yeah, Clément Berthe, um, Kulset, Owen Dool, um, are quite difficult to overtake, if I, if I do say so myself. And the Peloton has not let us that much space. Uh, I thought we'd get a bit more than four minutes and a half. Uh, but I guess we'll have to make, uh, with what we have. But it, it's, 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 yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. Ben Askey, Rory Townsend, and Ethan Vernon just got themselves dropped. Uh, don't hesitate to come back, lads. James got dropped by uh, Clément Berthet. Clément is definitely the strongest rider out of the break today. Uh, it's difficult. The narrow roads, um, then the uh, amount of corners, and the fact that just it's uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill, there's no um, middle ground, we'll say, means that there is only 24 riders left in this peloton, uh, and I feel feel like I might just get dropped eventually with uh, with Ruben. So I think I'm going to drop James Fouché back to Ruben Thompson so that I at least have one teammate with me. Here's uh, Maxi Sharman trying to keep his position as Carlos Verona cannot uh, stay within the peloton. But I think yeah, James is going to be uh, the final teammate of Ruben Thompson. Everyone has been dropped in this team. Uh, Rory Tamsen is minutes behind. Miles Scottson, Ethan Vernon, all of them lot are light years behind. Uh, there's been an attack uh, by Jao Almeida. Oran Barguil tried to follow for a second, but uh, he thought better of it. But yeah, uh, great day at the office for Clément Berthet, who's taken most of the current points, uh, not to say all of them. Well done to him. Wait, Sharman was with us like three minutes ago. That far. I don't think he crashed. Sharman just completely exploded. Okay. We have a group of 12 riders. Uh... Make that nine riders as a who, what? I, I swear someone attacked, but I don't know who. Uh, but make that a group of twelve riders then. Twenty-five kilometers to go, and we have no Maglia Rosa. We don't have Togeganov. We don't have Thomas Glog. We don't have the white jersey of Magnus Sheffield. We don't have Adam Yates. Interesting. It's Chris Hamilton, Lucas Hamilton. Sorry, putting the rhythm down for Mark Soler, Egan Bernal, Filippo Zana. Ruben Thompson and Enric Mas. Do not tell me that this is the list of favorites for this Giro. Don't you dare tell me that Ruben Thompson is within the five best riders for this Giro d'Italia. That is staggering. Seven riders in the lead, 22 kilometers left. Ruben Thompson has moved back into the provisional lead of the Maglia Azzurra. But Ruben Thompson is within the seven best riders for this Giro. I think my aims of winning breakaways through the... Uh, oh, of winning the Magna Axura through breakaways is officially done. Because I'm way too strong for this. We've got Clément Berthe coming back on uh, the group. I'm just going to pace a tad to ensure that he stays behind. Five kilometers left. In my wheel is Marc Soler. Um, and I can't win a proper sprint. So I think I'll use the gel and I'm gonna attack now. Just see if they follow me. They don't. I'm expecting... Yeah, we go. The, the, my, my initial thought was that uh, Mark Soler would put Mark Hamilton... Uh, Mark Hamilton? Sorry. Would put Lucas Hamilton to pace. But because he's dead, he can't do it. Egan Bernal is not gonna take the lead. I forgot that Bernal was in this group. But we're gonna go for the winner as Fabio Jacobson crashes behind. Uh, but Ruben Thompson on the solo win in the streets of Ljubljana what a day at the office for us. Congratulations, Ruben. And it's the first mountain stage of this Giro between Kranje and Mangart. 15 kilometers at an average of 8.3% for this final climb. A plus two for Ruben Thompson. Um, let's cherish this uh, Maglia Rosa, because I don't think we're going to keep it for very long. Um, also, Ruben, if you want to put your helmet back on, thank you. Um, yeah, just, let's just cherish this moment. And the fact that we led the Giro d'Italia. I think it is our first time leading a Grand Tour, because I don't think Sebastian Berwick led on La Vuelta. Uh, or did he? No, I don't think he did. Either way, it's our first time leading the Giro. 
Sadly, we've had more crashes, and this time it's Ben Askey who says goodbye to the race. Uh, it's his second crash uh, of the you know, the first crash of the day was uh, Rory Townsend for us, then it was Miles Scottson. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, our second DNF through a crash in what five no eight days of racing. Um, <laughs> I mean, I didn't plan on keeping any jersey for the general classification, but the quest uh, or the task of just getting any jersey is getting more difficult. If I keep losing my riders, we are in the uh, Vershitz Pass, um, 8.8 kilometers at an average of 8%. We do have a breakaway, a breakaway of which uh, Clément Berthet just got dropped, uh, which is good for me, uh, clearly, because he's my nemesis right now in the uh, mountain classification. Ruben has lost some positions, but it's not too bad. He's with the likes of Hamilton, who we've seen is in good shape. I'd love to see Dylan Hopkins stay at the front here um, so that he could give me some more help in the uh, coming kilometers or more. Um, but I think I think we're going to get dropped eventually. Come on. Ruben and James so far are genuinely doing the Lord's work. Um, but I feel like even the Lord has its limitations. Ruben Thompson is in the lead group, heading into this downhill portion. It's not been easy, but there he is. Dylan Hopkins cannot say the same. Um, but we'll get water with James Fouché. Hopefully no one crashes. And uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be safe and sound. Another jersey that I can definitely get with Ruben Thompson that I hadn't thought of is the Maglia uh, Bianca, the best young rider. Because um, my best... Uh, oh, sorry, my, my biggest opponent, I guess, would have been Thomas Glock, but he's already four minutes behind. And I don't think Magnus Sheffield will hold on in the mountains. I think it's quite interesting, the uh, race scenario and the fact that I've lost two riders, because didn't I do the exact same thing on La Vuelta? I think I did get the red jersey with Sebastian Berwick, and I got the red the day where I lost another one of my riders, because I remember having two DNFs very early on. I think that's what happened. I think the scenario of this Giro is extremely similar to the one of La Vuelta. And we finished third on the uh, Spanish Grand Tour. If Ruben Thompson would like to reiterate the performance, have it. Um, I think it was Enric Mas who had won this Giro. Enric Mas, uh, sorry, this Volta. Enric Mas is here. One minute 19 beyond Ruben Thompson. Um, could this be a sign of a... Of a... Pff, I've said reiterate way too many times. Could this be best repetita for uh, Enric Mas? Maybe. We started Mangart and immediately we're getting an attack by Thomas Glug. He's lost a lot of time yesterday uh, and he wants to uh, recover the, uh, the lost f seconds and minutes of um, stage 7. Ruben Thompson trailing at the back of the group so far. I don't want to make any sudden move, any sudden accelerations, as I do not have the legs to do so. Um, so, so far we're just going to navigate and... Uh, Try to match the peloton's rhythm, although this is an, a huge acceleration here, and I'm going to get dropped here. Uh, Ruben, Ruben, Ruben is back in the group. Lovely. We're going to lose a lot of time today. That is something I can officially say right now. We are going to lose at least four or five minutes on the winner. Because I have ba like basically no energy left, and we still have 10 kilometers to climb. We are fucked. But we are so fucked. I just need the peloton to slow the fuck down. Ideally, I need them to just just pull the handbrake and not do anything. That is the exact opposite of what's happening right now. Acceleration by Marc Soler. All of the favorites, bar me, are able to follow. Of the road, it's again Bernal. Trailed by uh, Mass Soler, Zana, and Thomas Glog. <sighs> we... Two minutes behind, just under, um, but the, the way we're going to lose a lot more because the yellow has left me and there are 3.6 kilometers remaining in this stage. It's a win. A top Mangart for... Ooh, I didn't think we'd have a six riders finish. For Theo Gegenart. Yep, Gegenart takes it ahead of Marc Soler, Egan Bernal, Henrik Maas, Thomas Glog and Zana. Marc Soler moves into the Maglia Rossa, but I'll tell you what, we have not done too badly. We haven't done good. But we haven't done too badly. We're going to lose two minutes on um, on the uh, British rider, the former Giro d'Italia winner. 
it's it's okay. It's okay. Final stage of this episode, uh, stage number nine of this Giro between Kranjski Agora and Pavlitsevo Sedlo. Another mountain stage um, with the uh, Gisershko Pass followed by the Pavlitsevo Sedlo and then um, a flatter portion. 106 kilometers today for a very short stage. Ruben has moved on to P7 in the GC. Um, he's still leading the uh, mountain classification and the best young rider one. So that's all right, uh, and with a plus uh, to crash from Miles Cotton, is he going to retire from the race? He's crashed with Martinelli and Matthias Norsgaard, and he's back on the bike. Come on! For once, we have a crash that's not a DNF. We're approaching the final uh, 20 kilometers of the stage, and the breakaway is going to take it for the first time this year. Uh, Michael Woods, Stephen Williams, Lawson Craddock, Silva Monique, Carlos Verona, Giovanni Aliotti, David Alecruz, Martin Tuzvelt, uh, Boven, Scaroni, and other riders. Um, there are two riders that are dangerous for me. That is Vadim Pronsky, who is 20 seconds away from taking the virtual lead of this Giro. And the second one, I think, is... Uh, is it Martin Tuzvelt? No. I know there's one Donny who's well placed GC wise. That's Carlos Verona who's 9.15 down. Uh, so only a minute of the uh, virtual lead so far this year. Hence the uh, sudden increase in rhythm in the peloton that kind of dropped my riders because I did not pay attention as Magnus Sheffield attacks. Why? Not really sure what happened here. Uh, wait, what? Where's Ruben? Ruben, who the fuck are you waiting for? Hold up. Okay, like like this, this like this, this like this. I guess I don't really know what happened. I wasn't like I was in a good position with everyone, uh, and then I kind of just stopped for a reason I do not know. Uh, is that Sheffield? No, that's Lawson Craddock. Eight twenty-five for the leaders. That is Stephen Williams, who's going to take the stage in Pavlicevo Sedlo. Actually, no, he's just. Completely forgotten to look behind him. Vadim Pronsky is going to take the stage. Actually, no, because Vadim Pronsky has forgotten to look behind him. And the stage is British. Stephen Williams uh, gets stage 9 to finally come home. Pronsky gets P2. Uh, that means he's taking an added 6 seconds in the mountain, in the mountain, in the uh, provisional lead of this Giro. Only 13 riders left somehow in this peloton. I'm very confused by this whole scenario and this whole uh, situation so far. Great rhythm by uh, Egan Bernal here at the front. Strides to pace with uh, Dylan Hopkins, making sure that I don't get dropped here with this just, just a bit of a cut here. And I think, actually, that we are going to get dropped with Ruben Thompson, unless I can bridge now, but I don't think I will. Can Lucas Chevalier, no, Maxime Chevalier, sorry, help me out? He actually kind of did help me out. Uh, Ruben Thompson is going to fight for a position in the leaders group. The loss is 7 minutes and 50 seconds, so Vadim Pronsky overtakes me in the GC. But it's okay. Um, we've put Almeida behind, we've dropped Thomas Glug again, which is good for my uh, ambitions of getting the white jersey. Uh, and Filippo Zana is today's big loser. And here are your podiums at the end of stage 9. Steven Williams has taken stage... Nine between uh, Kranjska Gora and Pavlis Sedlo, ahead of Adim Ponsky and Alexi Villermoz. That means that GC wise, it is close with just 16 seconds separating the top three of Mark Soler, Egan Bernal, and Enric Mas. Vadim Ponsky has moved up to P4 with Sivakov P5 and Ruben Thompson into the sixth position of this Giro. Mountain wise, Vadim Ponsky has taken the lead ahead of Ruben Thompson, so we'll have to get the jersey back. Jasper Philipson uh, narrowly leads Arnaud Deli and Fabio Jacobson for the Chiclamino classification. Ruben Thompson is the best young rider, and the uh, Group of MFDG of Mark Soler, Michael Stora, and uh, Lucas Hamilton leads the team classification. That, nevertheless, marks the end of the 27th episode of the Bolton Equities Black Spot Career Mode. If you've enjoyed it, then please do like down below. If you want to see more of this content and the uh, Giro unfold in the coming episodes, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch you in the very, very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass me the go. funk, we're getting drunk in here and what comes next